Good morning, everybody. Big Rich here with Ohio Fish Rescue. And come to give you an update. Right now, Josh is gone. He left for Mexico. If I go, I'll be leaving uh, Monday. Today's Friday. Um, and that's, that's about as good an update as we can give you. But now, let me show you what's going on here. Let's go out back. This is some. This is what me and Skyler's brother have been working on. Oh, it's bright out here. Uh, let me come this way. Now you walk into the backyard. Look at that. See the gazebo? We put up all the curtains and the netting last night. And we're getting ready to start the roof today. But let me see if I can get inside of this. The netting is open here. Oh, we left tools out last night. Here's the opening. Okay. What this does is, this netting all comes over into the corner right here. And see how the curtains tie up like that? Well, in the inside corner, you've got a spot right here. And this is where the netting gets tied to. So, all the corners, you can't really see. The netting's up all the way across there, here and here. But the netting will come back and tie up into this corner inside of this brown curtain. So... Uh, and that would be this thing here. It's got to go through a hole on the curtain. It goes to a hole in there. There's a pin on this here. That's that metal pin. That all goes through there. And then this strap goes around and holds the netting into the corner. So we got to tie up the corners like we tied up those two corners. Now with the netting. And then we can start building. This is the roof system. All the structure for the roof. And then the panels are in that cardboard box. And... Uh, we went around last night. Oh, my God. We put in so many of these little hooks. There's like 168 of them. Because there's two tracks here. You can see that. There's two tracks. One, the inside one goes for the curtain. And this one here, the outside one, goes to the netting. And this netting ain't like screening. It's, it's heavy, like real thick material. It's not cheap. I am very, very satisfied with the way this gazebo has been going together. And, you know, how it's made. It's... The curtains, oh my God. These curtains are such thick material. Let me see if I can find the end of it. And the wind's blowing it all over. There we go. And look at these huge zippers. I mean, this thing here is, it's, it's heavy duty. Feel like Carhartt material. It's heavy. So I'm very happy with this gazebo. And uh, we're getting it together. So we're gonna go ahead and unzip all these panels. And tie them up in their respective corners so that this is all open. And uh, actually, I would kind of like to leave the back wall here covered, leaving the curtain across the whole back. Um, but when we're done here and we got the, the ceiling on, we got the ceiling fans in here and lighting and all that, we're going to have on half a side, this is going to be like a couch, a couch, and a couple chairs, and then coffee table and two stools right here. So this will be seating on this side. And then from this over, this here will be the table and chairs right here. But on the end, let me show you this. Let's come over here. I'm trying to keep the sunlight out of the camera. Okay, from here over, from this corner post to that corner post, I want to build like a foot, maybe a foot and a half wide bar top. And that's it. We don't really need cabinets under it or nothing, just a countertop. And that way we can have chairs out here say four or six chairs and then this side of the gazebo will be the bar you know countertop that you can sit here and then talk to the people that are in there at the table and all that and people can have chairs on the inside here and uh i think that'll be a nice addition to this and and like i said over here we got to build this corner in put the fire pit right here and then we're going to have these you know four chairs around it not so much these but Whatever matching furniture we get in there, we're going to have out here. So it'll be four more chairs going around the fireplace here. And on this side, we got room for the hammock still. And hey, two broken chairs. We haven't even used them all winter. They just come out in summertime. Oh, they're broke. And then we got the backyard. I don't, there's so much. I don't know what to do with this backyard. Seriously, it's just open, you know. What can you do?
I mean, there's a lot of different things you can do, but we're going to have a gravel driveway coming from here to the new barn on that side. So it'll come right through here, go right around here, 10 foot wide, follow these tracks up, go right where that fence is, go right, follow this dirt line up and go to the side of the house so that you can go to the front. That way, if I ever need, you know, the bobcat or tractor or riding lawnmower, I go to the barn and I can ride it out here. So that's another thing we got to do. When Ed and uh, 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 Ed Ed Ballou, the pond professor, uh, come here with the aquascape, they're going to take them rocks out from this halfway over, and that's going to be a live edge. So all this is going to be a stream running downhill to right here in this corner. This is going to be the area where it's, it's going to look like just gravel, but the water will fall down between the gravel, and under there will be the pump vault where the water collects and the pump pumps it up underground here all the way up front to the, the new wetland filter that will add on to this. So we'll have two wetland filters now, which is what we need um, because with that one running, now this state's clear. Well, right now it's clear because of wintertime, and you can see all the algae down in there. See all that? But come summertime when we start feeding a lot, this will this will go back cloudy again. So that was helping, but another wetland filter will, will solve our problems. Well, we knew in the first place having that filter over there was only enough for a 10-foot wide pond, and I made this 30-foot wide. So we need, you know, two more filters that size. Well, what we're going to do is put one big one in over here, and then these steps coming from those two uh, 4x4s four there are going to go over it and come down to the wood right here and walk onto the deck. So there'll be a stream because the, the wetland filter will be here and then there'll be a stream running through and a waterfall going into that river right there and that'll double the amount of water coming from that waterfall here. So we've got the plan, we just got to have the time to do it. And uh, even the zippers on these things are solid, thick, heavy. I can't believe how thick this is. You know, when you went and when we were putting this up, did you, when you grabbed that screening, did you think it would be that thick and heavy? Not really. No, I it's thought, you know, nice. screening, it's, it's going to be nice. thin. I don't... That's... It's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. Most screening right. is like really poking fingers. Real thin, yeah. Not this stuff, though. So, this is going to, oh, we got the gutters on now. So, the gutters go all the way around. And then here's the corner in there. And the water comes out this hole right here. I can stick my a, finger up in. It's a drain on this. Uh, this cool. is the drain, and it just, it just, I guess, runs down here. I'm going to go ahead and put a pipe on here That's and cool. run it to the bottom and have it angled out down there on all four corners. So it has its own gutter system. It's pretty neat. Uh, we went through and took all the frame rails and put them in, out in numeric order so we know where everything is and made it easier. So now all we got, once we tie these corners up, all we got is to start building the roof framing and then put the panels on it. And, of course, secure it down because once the roof's on, a wind can come through here and move this whole thing. Right now, we ain't got to worry about it because there's no roof to it. But we're making headway every day now that it's warm enough out here. I mean, it's 50 degrees today. I expect we're going to get a lot done today on it. <sighs> Might be putting in the last screw today. No, I doubt it. There's, do you know how many screws are left? Do you know how many pieces we got to put together? There's like thousands. I saw this right. screw thing there. It said like 453 screws on it for <laughs> one pack of screws. <clears throat> yeah, so I doubt, you know, the most we can hope for is get the subframe together and then, you know, get all the supporting rods the next day. You know, maybe three days of building it can get this roof together casually. <clears throat> And then a week of going back and fixing what we put together wrong. <laughs> so, the fish are looking like they're ready to start coming out for summer. Let me see. I can't really see this TV screen or this phone screen. But, oh yeah, there they are. They're hanging out. They all hang in that clean spot that the paddlefish make against the gravel. They like clean all the algae out and clean everything away. We thought they were breeding. And I don't know how they're doing it. Maybe they are breeding. Who knows? But there's always a clean spot, and the paddlefish hang out there, and now all the goldfish or the koi are hanging out in there. It's pretty neat. Okay, so looking at it up here, well, for one, you can see the fish a lot better. Let me go ahead and zoom in on them. 
okay um, looking at it up here you can see the the overall color theme with the tan curtains and what I've been trying to find is furniture that has the same color cushions I find beige I find off-white I find eggshell I find cream I find, but nothing looks tan like that um, but yeah it's gonna have the the brown roofing going up and then the pieces across the top with an air vent up there and a second roof point um, and then you know we won't see the tree so much but see, that's another thing I want to cut off a couple of them branches up there like that one and this one so it's not hanging over here so much and all the droppings from the tree will plug up the gutters on this thing that's one problem we're going to have but I, what I would like to do is get the furniture in there first know where I want everything move the gazebo where I want it and then screw it down you can see over here that that side ain't even on the cement I'm going to have to take some of the cement and and pour some more slab going out there for that corner and also the center post right there in front of the tree um, those two are off of the cement to keep this a nice straight line up here I wanted at least six foot walkway right through well right through here there we go um, and uh, so yeah we're gonna have to I don't even have to connect it I can just make a, a cement post there as long as it's the same height as that cement you know um, and it's uh, it's already it's about a quarter inch away from the tree so I can't push it back no farther so I have to square it up where it's sitting and uh, I don't know if I want it this way because we can come another foot and a half see down here we can come another foot and a half this way um, do I want to do that and then if so I would take that corner and take this whole corner and run it out around it to where that's all cement under underneath not grass so if we move it this way <clears throat> there's a lot of things I got to do yet um, <coughs> excuse me uh, but today we're gonna work on tying up all that putting the, the zippered stuff away tied up with it and then start on the roofing so we're getting stuff done it's a matter of you know we do so many videos that it's hard to keep up with what we're doing, what we haven't done, what we already did, what we already videoed. It's a pain in the butt. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to try and keep you showing you what we're doing as we go. And then come summertime, I mean, Tracy hasn't seen none of this. As far as I'm concerned, she's concerned, this pond wasn't even in. This was all grass. And, uh, you know, I need to get them, them letters, Tracy letters, into this corner of the pond over here. I've got a lot of things to do, but you know, when she sees this, she's gonna absolutely break down and cry. So hopefully I can have the barn in and the driveway in, the gazebo done, and the fireplace in. And, uh, oh, that's another thing. Josh said that the wedding in Mexico isn't actually legal here in Ohio. So when he comes back, we're gonna have another little family wedding here where I'm gonna officiate the wedding and we will get them married and sign the proper documentation and all that. And we're gonna have a little wedding back here. Isn't that just adorable? I'm gonna put up this little wedding arch and uh, let me see, probably on the steps right over there. I don't know, we got time to think about it to figure out what we're gonna do, but that's just in our in, you know future plans. Because he was talking about going down in Justice Peace. And I'm like, no! You get married right here in our backyard. And we can have pictures and people, you know, very nice. So, then that's what we're going to do. Um, I will let you guys know on Monday's video whether I'm going to Mexico or not. Um, if not, I can stay and help Jerry. And uh, if I do go, then the plans are exactly what we originally planned on. So... It's just a matter of finding somebody to watch Tracy because we had a nurse quit on us and now we've got two days open. I've got a nurse to fill one day, but I don't have a nurse to fill that last day, the Wednesday night. So if we find somebody that I trust and, you know, we can leave her alone with, uh, then we can go. So, I mean, it's iffy right now. I already had to cancel my reservations and everything. Otherwise, spend the money on it and get the hotel room and then not be able to go. So I, had to, I only had till the 25th, I think it was. That we had to cancel the reservations so but you know I, I looked it up this morning and there's still rooms available so i can still go you know i'm paying a little more for the rooms but it's still possible for me to go um so we don't know uh, we'll know by sunday night and monday's monday morning's video coming out uh you guys will have an answer too whether i'm going or not so until monday you guys hang in there and stay fishy my friends